Uh, what's up guys, it's here here, Bunny or Quaji. And today, I'm not really giving you a gameplay, but technically I am. Let me talk about the gameplay real fast before I talk about the, the, the commentary that I'm going to have at hand. Uh, this gameplay is actually a triple brutalizer fail with my boy Unstoppable E. You know, if you guys don't know the Unstoppable V, make sure you guys subscribe to him. He's like a brother to me. I freaking love that man. He's helped me so much. And, um, you know, if you, if you want to find him in my future channels, go sub to him. Like, he is the homie. So, we both dropped uh, a de atomizer strike, but we both died on, like, two other really high gun streaks, like 20 plus or, like, 18 plus or so. And we, we both could have dropped a triple nuke this game, but, you know, we fucking suck at this game. But, uh, anyways. Uh, you know, this video isn't about the gameplay, but it's an impressive gameplay. Um, depending on how long the topic of this conversation is, um, I might have extra gameplay at the end, but hopefully it doesn't come to that. Uh, but yeah, today we're going to have a thoughtful talk. Now, for those of you that have been with me for since forever, like even before the summer started, like you guys know that I, it's really, I don't know, like I've done thoughtful talks before, but they don't ever come like, you know, consistently. Like for me, thoughtful talks, you know, they're thought provoke i talk about thought provoking topics and um you know really challenge the mind if your mind hasn't challenged before or make you think about things that you know you haven't really thought about before that's my whole intent with these thoughtful talks and i know a lot of you guys really do enjoy them especially since you know before i did the last thoughtful talk i think the last thoughtful talk i did i was like a thousand subscribers or so and it's been a while now we're at freaking almost 3500 subscribers and i just freaking love you all so i hope you guys are in for a little treat um, you know, you know, just listen in, think about some stuff, you know, I'm gonna I'm talk about something that, uh, maybe a lot of people haven't thought about and just, that's how it is with all these thoughtful talks. There's even a playlist that you can check out on my, like, my playlist, if you look through my playlist for, uh, for these talks, but, um, actually, I put a thoughtful talk kind of into the couple thousand friends video, but with that, it wasn't really a thoughtful talk. I would consider that more like an emotional or a deep talk. Because I didn't really challenge your mind in a way, like, you know, quote-unquote deep talks are cool. But to me, they're just, I was just letting out a confession of sort, um, you know, honest, uh, honest, honest deep talk, you know. But for those, are, like, those talks are kind of cool, but I like thoughtful talks, so hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, today, I want to talk about use value and labor value, or labor theory value, but I'm just going to call it labor value. And the way I came across this topic, I've been wanting to do this topic for years. Like, I mean, for over a year and a half now. Uh, for those of you that have been following me since the beginning of Black Ops 3, which is, I know, is not many of you. You know, I only had like 100 subscribers since the beginning of Black Ops 3. Uh, Logic's The Incredible True Story, uh, and specific the song Lord Willen, in one lyric, made me think about this uh, topic. That lyric is, I've been busting my ass, they probably think it's automatic. Now it's just one lyric, but through that one lyric, I thought about this whole, um, this whole, I, I got an epiphany to th talk about labor value and use value. Uh, labor value and use value come from the, from the man, you know, Karl Marx. Some of you guys may have heard of him. He's, uh, you know, he wrote the Communist Manifesto. If you guys want to kind of know, you know, he's the father of communism, but you know, not, com communism isn't entirely bad. It's just the way you execute it. Uh, that people think it's bad. Now it's been labeled as completely bad because people take things at face value, which is pretty funny because this is about use and labor value. And people just dismiss it for, you know, idiotic reasons. You know, some people are going to be idiots and not educate themselves, but, you know, that's a whole nother different topic. Just know that he's the one that uh, outlined these uh, theories. I'm not sure if he did it exactly in the Communist Manifesto, but I read about it, uh, use value and labor value through a book of his. I, I was reading a book of his like three years ago and that this is where that epiphany came from, I guess you could say. Um, basically, use value is the value that people consume at face value. So like, you know, you, you buy Call of Duty, right? And you just play the game and you say like, this game is trash or this game is good on basically how you play the game. You know, at face value. You listen to a song. You buy some songs from iTunes or you listen to Apple Music or whatever. And you say the song is good or it's bad, depending on how you know perceive it that way. And you give it a value that way, you know, at face value. Labor value is all the manual work that had to go into making that product, which gives it gives it its value. So you bought bought this Call of Duty game, right? But do you ever think about how much work the developers put into the game? Do you ever think about 
you know, all the little sounds they had to create, all the gun designs they had to make, every little nook and cranny in this little fucking game, every little technical aspect when it comes to the lobbies, like the visuals, the ideas, crafting this idea of Infinite Warfare. There's a lot of work that goes into that. A lot of freaking work. And a lot of people don't see that. For music, do you ever think about um you know the work that had to go into like making the production of the song that you're listening to all the little instruments and all the freaking musicians that the musician that the artist had to gather in one room to make it as clean as possible and how many tries you know this uh the musicians had to take to make sure it was the vision that the artist wanted to make like nobody realizes that shit and about like especially with rappers like especially with logic like this is how what i think about logic do you think it's really automatic that he fucking busts out this music no logic freaking he takes his time with his work but no i don't think many people see that like the incredible true story is his best album still i would put everybody probably at number two but like he put a lot of work and a lot of mental thinking into his lyrics if you guys have been following me forever you guys know that i have a little a big theory a very deep theory on the incredible true story but i still haven't released it yet because i'm just like you know what i'll release it when i feel like it and i still haven't even finished the, uh, writing out the theory but i have it all thought out of my head and with the introduction of everybody it just kind of continued this theory on even forward conf confirming that my theory was you know sort of true i'm just gonna wait on his last album and then maybe just maybe i'll do this long ass analysis of all of logic's works so you can see exactly how complex his body of work is his bodies of work are i should say but like as i was saying like people only take the use value when it comes to music or video games or movies or uh you know anything that's uh craftable i guess you could say you know this is this is pretty much an economic theory as you guys want to say but uh, later on, I want to apply this value elsewhere. But like with Logic, like you, you think he freestyles everything? No, he doesn't. He he takes his time with the lyrics. Like every musician takes time with their lyrics to um you know make sure it sounds as good as they can. Or at least some musicians, I should say, not all. <laughs> you know, there's, there's there's some lyrics out there that just they just came up out of nowhere. And, you know, this is a really catchy hook. But I mean, still though, they had to come up with that hook to freaking you know make it flow or make it sound good with the production. So. That's, you know, that's labor value versus use value. Um, you know, I'm going to repeat it again. Use value is uh, the value you take at the, you know, that you judge j right from just like using the value. But you don't think about uh, all, um, all the things that went into making this product. Like a pencil. Do you guys even, do you, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this like video. But look up how a pencil is uh, made. Something like that. Look at how much a pencil has to be uh, crafted. Like all the graphite, where does it come from? The wood from the pencil, where does it come from? The material and the eraser, where does that come from? The little steel slash aluminum thing on top of the uh, on the bottom of the eraser, on top of the pencil. Just uh, there's a lot of work that goes into making a freaking simple pencil. There's a lo lot of work that comes into like um, the iPhone that you have in your hand. All the little materials that they had to freaking make this iPhone with. You know, a lot of manual labor went into this uh, iPhone that you're watching this um, video on. Or the computer you have watching right now. The computer or phone you have, like, a lot of time went into making this freaking, um, this freaking product. But you don't really think about that, do you? You don't really think about that. Like, you just, there's a lot of things uh, that people just take at face value. And I don't know if people really think about these things. I mean, this there is kind of, like, no use in thinking about it. But it's just good to think about, you know. It's just me as a thinker, I think about these things a lot. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much labor value versus use value. And now I want to apply this theory to like people. You know, you, you think you know a person, but you don't know this person entirely. You don't know the environment they came from. You know, as a young child, you, know, you don't know what mindset they grew up with. You know, based on the things they saw and how they reacted to those things in their childhood slash, you know, life. I guess you could say people are gonna judge others just based on like what the, the, the year or two that they known them but not really you know down the line they won't they won't listen to the stories or they can't like understand the stories that come came from them you know all their life you can't you just possibly can't you know nobody's gonna know me better than me no matter how much stuff I tell people nobody's gonna know better me better than me because you you don't know my thoughts 
You don't know my story. You don't know my life. You don't know how I was as a child. You don't know my parents. You don't know how I reacted in school exactly. You don't know all the little thoughts that went into my head throughout my whole lifetime. But you're gonna know me for like the, you know, the, the time that you do know me. But you're not gonna you're not gonna know everything about me. You know, there's a lot of work that uh, made me. You know, a lot of outside forces that made me the person who I am today. You know. Freaking books, freaking people, other people, and the way I react to them. You're not going to know me perfectly. But, you know, you're just going to see me at the face value of, you know, my use value as a person. Just based on how hype I am in Call of Duty or all the feeds that I get. But not really think about, like, how thoughtful I am when it comes to certain, um, certain, uh, you know, ideas in life. So, I hope that kind of does make sense. You know, I'm not going to know you better than you. Because I only, I only know you, you know, from talking to you, you know, for a couple minutes every day or maybe an hour or two every day or maybe even like 15 hours a day. But no matter how much I talk to you, I wasn't there when you were born. I wasn't there with your experiences uh, as a baby, as a child, or as even as a young adult or even an older adult. Like, I wasn't there since the beginning. You know, only you were there from the beginning. And all your thoughts and mental processes and all your reactions to those things were with you. So, you know. I'm not going to know you better than you. You're not going to know me better than me. But I'm going to respect you because of who you are. You know, I know you guys have probably been through some shit. Um, you know, I've been through some shit, you know. You just don't know how my mind works when it comes to this shit. But, yeah, that's this This was pretty much the, the conversation I wanted to bring up. You know, just respect each other uh, as much as you can. Because you don't know what other people have been going through, basically, when, which, when it comes to this whole labor value versus use value thing. And hopefully it kind of makes sense with... um. Uh, the relation of the topic that I try to bring up on with people anyways some fucking economist is probably gonna comment on this video like bruh why are you gonna relate it to people well I can okay it, it makes sense in my head I just hope it kind of makes sense in your head but uh yeah that's pretty much the thoughtful talk guys um hopefully you guys enjoyed because I like doing these types of commentaries I have so many topics I could talk about but I just need to be in the mindset where I want to talk about it. And right now, you know, I'm trying to chill before the World War II beta starts. And so I just really wanted to talk about one of the topics that I had in mind. And this was one of the topics I had in mind. You know, that one logic lyric, you know, provoked my mind, you know, to think about this whole theory. And uh, basically, I hope you guys understand it. Just remember, use value is the, the value that people take at face, you know. Uh, you know, judging a book by its cover, basically. And labor value is the value of the labor that went into making the final product or the final person or whatever you may you know say but yeah i freaking love you all check out my other thoughtful talks they're pretty good in my opinion a lot of people love them they'll be in the playlist or i might even link it in the description below be ready for rip hero 4 hopefully tomorrow because i really want to get this out before the beta and just just keep being amazing people i freaking love you all and Goodbye.